Jessica Bergoli. I'm co-chair of New Bedford, beautiful. Uh, we're in Sears Court with Tape Art, and um, this project was funded by the New Bedford Cultural Council. And um, we've been talking about this alleyway for a few years in New Bedford, beautiful, and we just didn't really know what to do with it. And then I, last year I went to the Providence International Arts Festival and I came in contact with Tape Art and there was a grant cycle coming up for the Cultural Council and I applied for it and we got the grant. So this is a great like temporary project that's only up for about a week. So Monday is, is uh, we're taking everything down on Monday. Um, but it's just a really great way to bring attention to this alleyway and to bring something more permanent here in the future would be really good. Hi, <laughs> my name is Michael Townsend. Yeah. I am part of the Tape Art crew. Uh, we are from Providence, Rhode Island. And the crew is a collection of about 10 artists who have dedicated a lot of their time to studying tape and saying, well, can this serve a purpose in a wide range of environments? So what we see is public art done with tape. We also do a lot of teachings. What that means is that we're teaching collaborative drawing using this medium, giving other people an opportunity to have a say in the public and to take ownership of their spaces. Uh, we were brought in by uh, New Bedford Beautiful. They've been doing a lot of public art programs throughout the projects throughout the city, and uh, we are one of those. So they gave us this alleyway because this is a tough space to make art happen. Uh, it is not particularly pretty. It is uh, filled with bad compositions, and we have done our best with the tape to try to bring some balance to it. Our hope, having been here for a couple days, is that a project like this could start a conversation about how to make this alleyway a much more uh, beautiful, enticing, memorable experience to go through. I can imagine there being a sculptural solution, arches would be really nice in this space, possibly some sort of painted solution. Uh, but I would definitely invite people to come down and look at this piece, and if you had that response, you're like, I really like seeing art in this space. Maybe, maybe that's a, a call to arms that there should be some art in this space. But the more that we put spotlights on problems and spaces in you know our local in our area, the more we can fix these problems um, by all different types of ways. I think the use of public art is a really great way to beautify and bring culture and in harmony in areas and bring community together is important.